Hey everybody, it's Sailor Crafty here, and I just debuted my newest costume as Fi from Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword at Anime Bonsai this weekend. Anime Bonsai is Utah's biggest anime convention as of yet. Uh, what we have here on top is a hedge form. This is just my dummy to wear it for me as I film, but the hedge form... What I did was I wrapped my own head in plastic wrap and masking taped out where the bangs needed to go um, in order to look accurate to the screen render. And then I put the plastic wrap onto a dummy head and stuffed the back of it so that it was about the size of my head. Then I took two pouches of white model magic. You can get it at any craft store and molded it around the head and made it the right shape so I put the bangs where they're supposed to be tried to flatten it out as best I could it's kind of a lumpy texture you can't really sand it down or anything because it it's just kind of a marshmallowy soft texture even when it dries I had to let it dry inside and out for about two days for it to be fully dry and as it dried it did shrink um, but we'll get to that in a second um, I took some satin and pinned it around um, pretty side in so that I knew where the darts were going to be to sew. There's about four darts that I sewed. And of course, when I turned it inside out, it was, um, you know, wrong side to wrong side. The big bang was over here. So I had to make a copy on the other side of the fabric and do it with that one. So I sewed the darts in and then glued the fabric onto this head form. And then, <laughs> as I wore it, uh, because my ponytail was so big, it did actually crack the model magic, but it was okay because that was totally hidden by the fabric. So, it worked out pretty well. I might line it with felt later just so my hair doesn't smell like model magic. It's kind of a nasty, weird plasticky smell. <laughs> but there you have it. There's my Phi head form. Put that back on. All right. And next we have the cowl and the wing arm things. She doesn't really have arms in the concept art, I guess she does, but she has these long wing things on either side in two different colors, as you can see. And what I did with that is I made this um, cowl part separately from the wings, and it goes underneath, and I actually sewed the jewel onto it so that I could wash the under dress just by itself um, so that you know I didn't have to take the jewel on and off the dress it could just be worn with this cowl part so I made a cowl there's an invisible zipper in the back just in the middle and then these wings are this astrofoam stuff uh, the same stuff I used on my mascots like Lugia and Charmander it's just a closed cell foam I made uh, one big piece with a couple darts at the top and then layered three U-shaped pieces onto that. Let's get to the lighter side here, I think you can see better. So one big piece and then three U-shaped pieces on that. And I just glued them together because glue holds astrofoam together really nicely. And then I took satin and just glued it on to the form. And I made a long, thin, rectangular piece and just kind of gathered it where I thought it would be pretty. I tried to make the gathers on both sides equal so that it wasn't too lopsided or anything. So the symmetry is there. And then we have the jewel. I made it with easy cast resin, which is this stuff right here. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or probably Michael's. I think at Joann's, and it's a little pricey, but you can make multiple things with it, and I used a lot of it up, but I still have some left. Um, I used food coloring uh, for the dye, and as you can see, it left little black dots, so don't use food coloring. It won't dissolve all the way. There's actually special resin dye you can buy that's made specifically for this material. Um, to make the mold for the diamond shape, actually cut the box 
uh, the plastic bucket that the model magic came in into pieces. I made a, a you know a cardstock pattern for it first, and then once I was sure it was the shape I wanted, then I cut it out of plastic and just assumed that that plastic would work. I wouldn't recommend that. It might not always work out. Your resin might stick to the plastic. So just be aware that resin is tricky stuff and you should probably use the right material. But it works out and for pictures you can't even see those little black dots. Um, for the setting, I just, eh, it's kind of rubbing off there, but it's just glitter foamy. You can buy a sheet of it for like a dollar or two dollars or something at Joann's. And Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So that's that and then I actually put some felt or fleece on the back of the jewel, just glued it on so that I would have something to anchor the cowl onto when I sewed it on there. So it's all one piece, this cowl and the jewel all together. Underneath that is simply a sleeveless dress. I used a regular sleeveless dress pattern and added some ribbon. I just glued it on. That was kind of lazy of me, but that's what I did. <laughs> And then I made it the length I wanted and put some batting in the bottom and uh, sewed that piece separately so it has the seam in the right place. And then for the legs, I tried something with fabric glue, tights, and ribbon that I thought was just the right color and width. And the fabric glue kind of did this weird wrinkly thing. Um, this fabric glue, I wish I could tell you what brand it was. All I know is that it is the most boogery stuff to work with and it's terrible and I hate it. I tried using a brush to like apply it and it kept like oozing out of the jar that it came in or the, the plastic bottle or whatever. It drove me crazy. So that didn't quite work out. I didn't quite finish that in time for the convention. Um, next time I'm going to try this which is some mint tights with some black tights that has a diamond cutout pattern so that you can see the mint through and see the diamonds. The diamonds are pretty close together so not as canon as I would like it to be but it will work and it will be the right idea. <laughs> I might eventually retry that ribbon thing but this will work in a pinch if I don't get that done in time for the next event I'm going to. So two pairs of tights, that's going to be warm. And for shoes, when I looked at um, renders, it looked kind of like this. It was just a basic black pump shoe with kind of this thing going on here. Um, yeah, just a really basic shoe. And for the makeup, um, instead of a mask, I tried makeup. And I did a Ben Nye all over my face to just under my chin. And it's a dry powder cake, but you can, it's called Blue Spirit, how fitting, right? Um, I used a wet brush, I just wet a brush down, applied it to the dry cake, and it got wet, and I painted it onto my face. And it's super lightweight, you barely even notice that you're wearing anything. Um, it doesn't smear around all crazy, it actually dries really nicely, and I mean, I was blowing my nose a couple times, and it only came off during, like towards the end of the day, so it stayed on pretty well despite all the abuse I was doing to it. So it's a really nice makeup. Um, a little pricey, but worth your while because of how nice it is. And it's not like grease paint, you know, it's not gonna ruin your skin. <laughs> it's really good stuff. And then I just bought like a basic blue eyeliner pencil and made kind of a fancy like outline of my eye and used um, blue eyeshadow, and um, when I closed my eyes, it kind of looked like five creepy, like, mask eyes, you know, hollow eyes. So it worked out really well for photos and looked pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And um, next time, I'm going to try a masked approach. I found a mask with kind of the same shaped eyes that she has. I might carve out a little bit more because her eyes are kind of big on her face and obviously I need to fill in these gaps because it looks like a butterfly mask kind of. So I'm going to try that. I bought some spray paint to try out 
on that. I could even use the Ben 9 makeup that I used on my face because I wasn't afraid it would come off onto my clothing. Um, so we'll try that next. I also had a little jewel that I forgot to apply. The spirit gum, it's supposed to go like right kind of in the middle of the forehead. So I forgot to do that, but I do have it. And that, my friends, is how you can do a spy costume. The Wizard of Zelda. Hope you liked it. Feel free to ask me questions and check out my Facebook to see pictures. Take care.